And of course, my camera's out of focus. There we go. Yo, what's good, everybody? How we all doing? Yo, what's good? What's good? Just gonna lower that down. How we all doing, yo? What's good? It's good, Vanessa. It's good, Lazy. It's good, E Milk. It's good, Parker. It's good, Tank Top. It's good, Tuna. It's good, Killer Moth. How we all doing? How are. Wow, okay. Not even like 30 seconds in. <laughs> I'm doing good. I just got home from the cinema, so I'm doing good. I have a little bit of a cough coming on, but let's be real. When am I sick? Let's, let's be honest, I'm always sick. <laughs> but yeah, how are we all doing? We all good? Hope we're doing all good. Again, I don't know how long this game is, hence why I don't know how long stream is going to be. <laughs> but if it's not that long, um, if, if the game isn't that long, we can just chat. But uh, yeah, as you can tell from the um, the title and thumbnail and everything, we're playing the new Baddington remake of FNAF 1. Um, watch you watch the cinema. I want to go see Abigail. Um, it's like the new vampire one. Honestly, dude, for like the first hour and 20, first hour and 20, I was watching it and I was like, okay, it's decent. It's okay. After like the last half an hour, dude. Oh my god, the movie's so good. It's so good. Yeah, I'm streaming a little bit later tonight because um, um basically I'm streaming a little later because uh well one I, I just didn't have time <laughs> and two I didn't know how long this stream would be and I had a feeling that this game is like one or two nights. I don't I don't think it's that long. So I was like, well, we can play this because everyone's going to be playing it right now. And um, everyone's going to be playing on YouTube. So quite frankly, I want to play it as well. Because let's be real, I'm always late to everything. Everything. Except Analog Horror. I'm always there for Analog Horror. When it comes to games, I'm always late. We won't talk about Bending the Dark Revival. <laughs> um, you're an amazing person. Hey, I appreciate that, Patrick. Uh, dude, I woke up at the perfect time. I woke up from uh, a nap like five minutes before you went live. Hey, I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. All right, let me load up the game and see how we get on. Hopefully, loads on the right screen. Uh, hopefully. Pray, because my PC loves to just have like um uh da -da -da. hold on. Okay, the game is absolutely hating me right now. Uh, okay. Um, it's crazy to think the Walton 5, 5 release in 5. It doesn't. It's not going to come out. It, the, the, the premiere would already be working, in my opinion. Um, uh, what's, yeah, what's good, Piotr? I saw there's quite a few people playing this game. I'm trying to load it up right now, and it's telling me something weird. I'm trying to load it up. Please insert your file path to Five Nights at Freddy's.exe. Okay, I have to go into Steam. Fantastic. Hold on a minute. Five Nights at Freddy's 1, I'm guessing? Yeah. Where is it? Five Nights at Freddy's. There. I'm confused. Oh, okay. I have to, oh my god, this is a nightmare. Give me a whole, like, oh, okay, this is weird. Give me two seconds, okay. okay I did not know there was, like, a whole setup to this. I'm, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Um, gonna go to Steam. Where's Steam? Um, oh my god, I have to do this all again. Are you for real? This is a nightmare, dude. I thought this was going to be like an easy setup. I just could play the game. Nope, apparently not. <laughs> Hold on. Um, the 
Yeah. 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 Alright, hold on. This should work now. Alright, it's working. But of course, everything is loaded up on the wrong screen. I'm gonna have to switch this over for a second. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I, I, I just had to load in my like files of FNAF 1 on Steam into the game. Did not think I'd have to do that. I'll be real. But hey ho. It's all good. Alright, now. We should be good now. I just need to fix one thing. Alright, what did I miss in chat? I uh, just I appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, low key. I'll, I'll be real. Um, I I dead ass thought I was getting hacked <laughs> when I saw the um, when I saw the whole thing of like oh this whole file thing. Low key thought I was about to get hacked. Anyways, let's just uh, quickly transition into this, and here we are. And I'll just turn off the Halloween music. But here we are. This is. The Baddington version of FNAF 1. Now, instantly, I like it because, I don't know, this looks cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, genuinely, this looks really cool so far. I've seen a lot of people play it. So, without further ado, I'm not going to waste any more time. So, we're going to get straight into it. New game. All right. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, Help Wanted, Family Pizzeria, looking for a security guard to work the night shift. Pretty much all about the same. This is all basically um, like the first game, isn't it, right? It's basically like a complete remodel and stuff, right? Because I know we... Bro, that's so loud. Oh my god, that is so loud. Bro, you don't have... That's so loud in my ears. Hold on a minute. I was on max volume. Okay. What? The time. Wait, is this is this gonna get copyrighted? Hold on, is this gonna get? I'm gonna click off just because I feel like the phone calls with the get copyrighted. I'm gonna mute my audio. I think the night one phone call gets copyrighted, so I don't know. Um, when, bro, I don't know. I I I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. Is the phone call still copyrighted? I heard a lot of things that the opening phone call got copyrighted. I love the models though. I really like the models. They look sick. Is how many knights? I'm I'm very curious. Where's the honk actually? At least at least it still honks. I don't know if the I'm gonna risk it. Oh it is it is. Oh it's copyright, oh lovely. But yeah, a person uh, apparently the um the night one phone call like the phone calls are all copyrighted now. It's really weird. Then again, I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't know why. But the yeah, I was literally just about to say that Chica's design looks identical to the chicken out of uh, Chuck E. Cheese. I was legit just about to say that. That chicken animatronic, like Chica, looks identical to the Chuck E. Cheese. I think she's called, like... I think... I think the actual Chuck E. Cheese animatronic is called, like, Susie. Or Sarah. It begins with an S anyway. I think. But it's really, it's really identical. I feel like everything is copyrighted now. Oh, man, the amount of, like, videos I've had to take down because they've gotten copyrighted, I'm just like, bro, like... I put so much effort into this video, and then all of a sudden, boom! Nah, you can't, you can't do anything with it, mate. It's a, it's a little annoying. But like, you just have to listen to silence with me talking now. In a, until this video, like, until the call ends, it's still going on. Also, just behind my face cam, there's like a a clock that's like ticking for the time. Like we're literally about to hit two a.m. But then when I put up the camera, it says one a.m. night one. So it's quite cool. How long is this phone call, by the way? I forgot how long it is. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same game, just different animatronics. Um, no way. Uh, chat. Let me turn up the volume. Bro, can you hear the snoring? Could you hear the snoring? Can you hear the snoring, by the way, or am I, is that just me? What's going on? Hey, 
I'm so conf why why is there a dude snoring? Bro, what's going on? All right, the phone call's over. Uh is that normal or nah? I bought okay, that's a creepy image. Bro, what's got why is there a dude snoring in my office? Also, can we talk about how creepy the cupcake looks like? What is going on? Um, I can't tell if that's just a meme Baddington put in. That was Foxy running. Um, where's Bonnie? And why is there snoring? Why? 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 Why is there snoring? Bro, I'm 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 so confused. This is like FNAF Plus, but like, scuffed edition. That popped up out of nowhere. He wasn't there at the start, was he? I'm so good. Oh my god, Foxy looks terrifying. Where is Bonnie? Oh, there's Bonnie. Why do I have a feeling this is like... Was is this an Easter egg or is this actually in the game? Like as a as a troll. I feel like that's something Baddington would do, like put something in the game as a troll. Why is Foxy out? It's night one. Foxy like never comes out on night one. That's like a myth. Is this like the game is like up? Oh, I'm so confused if that's meant to be there. I need to watch Darko's video to see if that's actually in the game or not. I'm, bro, that's gone on the entire night so far, by the way. Is that meant to be like a meme for the FNAF movie? Is that what that's meant to be? <coughs> like, by the way, like, Josh Hutcherson does, like, sleeps the whole movie, basically. Is that meant to be like a troll on that? That, that, that was my guess would be. Bonnie's at my door, by the way, so. I, I, I don't know if I found an Easter egg or... I, I genuinely don't know. Bonnie looks scary as hell. Just gonna say that straight up. Bonnie looks terrifying. It's only 4 a.m. as well, by the way. I I actually can't tell if that's a part of the game or not, by the way. I, I can't tell. I, I actually can't tell. It, that's what my guess would be. It's probably someone who reviewed his series or something. I don't know. But it's like a looped sound, dude. I'm very, very confused right now. Bonnie's there. Oh. Hello. Darko didn't have the snoring. Did I just find it? Okay, I have to go back on, our, on the stream to see what I done. That made him pop up. Maybe it's cause the phone call. Did Darko let the phone call play out or nah? That's what my question is. Cause I let the phone call play out. Because I forgot to mute it. Because I forgot it was copyrighted. So maybe it only plays if you continue with the phone call. And it's meant to like make fun of how long phone guy talks for. But then again it just continues. Well, I, I don't know if I... Like, did I just casually find an Easter egg? I don't know. I just checked in the office later. There. Right? I don't know what's going on. Bro, stop with the foxy running. My heart just dropped. My heart just dropped, yo. Hey, Bonnie. Bonnie looks a lot larger there. I'm just going to say that straight up. Uh, where's Chica going, actually? Oh my god, that's terrifying. No, that's actually terrifying. I like Freddy's look, though, I'll be real. Bonnie's still there. He is, hey. If he did, he probably didn't have it to call. Yeah, fair enough. 
The night's nearly over anyway. But like still. I'm low-key kind of getting annoyed of it. <laughs> because all I hear is that snoring at like snoring sound effect. Yeah, I'm saying, imagine no one ever find. Like, I, we have to watch. I'm have, gonna have to watch stream over. Because I don't know if that's intentional. Or what actually happened to trigger this dude just, like, on my desk snoring. Yo, what's good, Angie? How you doing? The night's almost over anyway, but. I'm very confused. I'm, I'm so confused. I don't know why there was the snoring thing going on. Is there another night? Hopefully there is. Never mind. No, there's not. That is terrifying. I want to see what the jump scares look like, though. Okay, first of all, I need to check what actually happened on stream. We need to check. Hold on. Let's see. The night one is literally to take down turned into this video like still going on then when i put the cat but yeah i'm pretty sure way I... there it is what did i do sure this is the same game just different animatronics yeah look at all of a sudden the dude's there so and until this video like, until the call ends, it's still going on also just behind my face cam there's like a, a clock that's like ticking I'm so confused on what actually happened. No, because that's the actual version of the game. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same game, just different animatronics. Because like you can see my reaction there, and all of a sudden the dude's there. So I I'm confused, like very very confused. But I'm still gonna, um, I, I have to see what the jump scares look like. So, let me go back in. Let me go back in, because I need to see what the jump scares look like. Mute the call. Alright, the call is muted. I'm just gonna sit here. <laughs> uh, we need a FNAF 1 scale, small, eerie ambience game where it's uh, actually optimal to track animatronics and the cameras, not to spam window lights, foxy cam. I mean, I don't know. I, I I mean, it's... I don't know. You know what? Just let him sleep in the office. Honestly, fair. I'd sleep in the office. I What it, was it after I boop? Did I find... Yo! That was Foxy, yo! I booped the nose three times, opened cam, and died. Yo, am I finding secrets? Ha wait, has bat? Hold on, let me try this again. Mute the call. One, two, three. No. Oh. One. Bro. Is each version, like, scuffed? Hold on. What do I click? I am. I have a feeling there's hidden stuff in this game. I've just found two Easter eggs. Oh, and what happens if I click this? Golden Freddy has to be in this, bro. I'm convinced. Baddington definitely put something with Golden Freddy in here. Surely. Is each game different? Is it? What about a spam cams? I love the part when Freddy Fazbear appears and say it's Fazbear time and says Fazbearing all over the place. <laughs> that was Foxy, right? Was that Foxy? Oh, there's definitely hidden stuff, isn't there? Oh, there definitely is, man. What about a spam honks? It actually is like a scuffed version of FNAF 1. I guarantee you there's like clickable things with like Sparky popping in the door here and stuff. I guarantee it, dude. 
I guarantee it. I, I don't know who that was in the door frame. I didn't get a good look at it. Something tells me there's hidden stuff here, dude. I don't know what it is, but surely there's something to do with this Freddy poster, dude. Could you imagine I could just, like, WASD this? All of a sudden start walking around. That'd be crazy. That'd be so, so cool, in my opinion. Imagine, like, you just press W and all of a sudden you stand up. Bro, I'd actually, like, low-key, like, scream. Foxy is the dumb, dumb, dumbing me, so. I'm just, bro, I'm so confused. I, I'm dead ass so confused. Let me try to run out of power. Let's try to see what the power outage looks like, shall we? That's what I mean. Like, Baddington's good at uh, adding Easter eggs. So, like, I had, a f I had a feeling that, like, um, there'd be something. Uh, do you play any other games uh, than FNAF? If you do, what do you play? Oh, bro, I play everything. See, I just don't really stream a lot of games. Um, like, I play FNAF. But my favorite games actually play, like, The Last of Us. I love playing The Last of Us, Telltale The Walking Dead. Um, I really like... What is that? Oh, never mind. Okay, okay. That's just when, when they switch the cameras off. Bro, Bonnie's face, though. Can we talk about Bonnie's face real quick? I thought I got another Easter egg just then, but that's just when they, like, they flick the cameras off when they move. Um, I checked the footage. You honked the nose three times, checked the cameras, put them down. Also, it wasn't Foxy, but I don't know if it was Freddy either. Huh. Off topic, th that is not about FNAF. Will we watch the Walton Falls 4 next weekend? Honestly... I just want to know when the Walton Falls 5 comes out. So then I can kind of plan a stream around it. Because last time the Walton Falls 4 came out at 2am my time. And it was on like a school night. And I had a flight the next morning. I think it was on a school night. I don't know. But it was on like a day where I had to get up at like 6am anyway. So I had to like watch the Walton Falls by 2am. And have a flight at 6am. You know. So it was a little bit rough. Um, But yeah no. Um... Let me see if they're just roaming around. Ooh. Hey, Bon. I wonder if Bon does, like, the, their body does, like, the mask thing. Foxy is the dumb, dumb, dumbing me. Are you going to watch uh, the two new Walton Falls episodes? Well, we have to wait for them to come out first. Um, But, yeah. I will definitely do a stream when the Walton Falls 5 is announced. I just have to wait for it to be announced. Uh, lol, how did you find all these Easter eggs? Honestly, I don't even know. I, I genuinely don't even know how I'm finding all these Easter eggs. I'm kind of waiting for a power outage because I want to see what the power outage looks like. To be quite honest with you. I love how Bonnie looks though. I really like that Bonnie design. But yeah. Um, Chica need... Uh, like I, I, Chica. <laughs> um, but are you going to make a video on the Easter eggs in this game? Oh, I don't know. Like I don't even know how many Easter eggs there are. I might have to like make a video on the Easter eggs. Yeah, probably. I guarantee there's a Golden Freddy Easter egg somewhere. I guarantee it. I want to see what the power age looks like, though. I'm curious to what it looks like. I love the designs of this game, though. The actual, like, designs of the animatronics are really cool, dude. Could you imagine just an Easter egg if you, like, close the doors the whole night? And, like, something happens. Like, oh, why are you not, like, facing the fear or something? I don't know. Um, yeah, but the animatronics look like actual Chuck E. Cheese animatronics, you know? I like this, by the way. The connection terminated. Like a little uh, nod to a pizza sim. Alright, here we go. Let's see what the power outage looks like. Oh, you just hear, like, the buzz. Hey, Fred. I'm curious what the jump scares look like as well. Yo, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that so much. Hey, Molly Walton. How you doing? Um, I like how goofy he looks. Let's see what the jump scares look like, though. I'm, I'm gonna be really intrigued. Come on, Freddy, give it, show us what you got, dude. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. Rick and Morty. Dub. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, I like that. 
That was really similar to the um, VR. Yo. That end screen, though. Yo, I really like that jump scare. That really did remind me of... Um, wasn't it? That reminded me of the um, the FNAF or jump scares. That was that was really like the FNAF or jump scares. You know the way like they kind of like they're because that's a three D jump scare. That looks exactly like the VR jump scares and help wanted. That looked so cool. If there's a black screen long enough, you know you're honestly fair. Why does Freddy look like a guy that loves beer in the middle? <laughs> What's on a Friday night? Brad Jump Scare looked like something out of FNAF or Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Reminded me of Help Wanted. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. It looked exactly the same. I really like that. Type 1987 on the home screen. All right. 1987. No. How, how high does the volume go up? Just 200. Why don't I put 83? Why don't I put 83 and start the game? Anything? Anything at all? Maybe? I like how it says blah, blah, blah on the side. I have actually seen the Sonic tapes, by the way. Fun fact. Alright, let's see. Honk three times. Nothing. Again. I must have just, like, gotten some... Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. At all. It just gave me the starting screen. I tried to Alt F2 to the game to get me a starting screen, but heyo. Uh, excuse me. It is nearly 11 p.m. by the way, so if I yawn, I apologize. Even though I always yawn. Um, but yeah, so far, right? I'm gonna be real. FNAF one. I remember I posted a poll the other day, and I was like, "What's the most overrated FNAF game as of now?" And a lot of people were saying FNAF one. Now, first of all, I'm gonna disagree because of the whole FNAF one starting the whole series, but like. It's definitely the game that's aged the most. You know what I mean? Like, for me, it's like, okay, FNAF 1 has definitely been the one that's most aged. Because FNAF 2 still holds up, in my opinion. I personally just really like FNAF 3. I know a lot of people don't like FNAF 3, but I just like the the whole thing of, like, the good ending. I like doing the mini games and stuff, so that's just me. FNAF 4 is still terrifying to me. So it's like, you know, I still really enjoy it. But then you have Sister Location, which is honestly, it's one of them ones where I enjoy it until I get to Night 4. <laughs> because I can't do the Spring Locks. I just can't. Pizza Sim, I love to the bottom of my heart. I love Pizza Sim. UCN, I'm not good at it, but like I can see why it's fun. So when it comes to FNAF 1, like the old, old school Click Team games... It's very, it's the one that, in my opinion, is the most repetitive. Because when it comes to the whole, um, like, oh, check cams, check Foxy, make sure to close the right door and Freddy's at the corner, that sort of thing. So it's nice that we're getting a little bit of, like, a refreshing take on the original. Because, obviously, the whole thing will happen with FNAF Plus and just getting, you know, cancelled. Um, it is quite annoying that, you know, um, for me, I really wanted FNAF Plus to come out. I really, I really wanted to see FNAF Plus. And then all of a sudden, it's like, you know what? Yeah, FNAF Plus isn't happening anymore. So I'm happy, I'm happy Baddington is like, you know what? Let's make FNAF 1 again. Because realistically, this probably is probably made from scratch. I don't think there's anything like this kind of like, oh, let's port FNAF 1. Even though the mechanics are very simple and uh, very similar. But uh, Sister Location is scariest for me. Honestly, it's really good. I love it. I love it. I still can't believe you only have 3K subs and you make high-quality videos, but Analog Horror deserves 20K at least. I do my best. My... My, like, inspiration for a lot of videos have to, has to be 4+. plus. But I actually, I got, I was really happy today, right? I was on Twitter, and I posted about me being in the cinema to see Abigail. And one of the YouTubers I've watched for, like, so long liked my reply on Twitter. So I love this dude called Cody Leach, right? I love his videos so much, because he just talks about movies and stuff. And he, like, was talking about Abigail. And I was literally just in the theater. I think, like, my comment is somewhere down here. Yeah, look. I in the theater as we speak, can't wait. And I was like, love your videos. And the, and he liked it. So that was kind of like a surreal thing for me. So when it comes to like being YouTube and stuff, I just enjoy it. Like I, I do my best. I try not to make repetitive videos, if that makes any sense. 
um the one thing i love doing is just making videos however like i do do my best to like try and balance it because sometimes i get in my own head with stuff and all that sort of things but yeah i do my best uh also ucn is not fun <laughs> i'm gonna put you in fred bear's mouth if you don't take that back <laughs> No, I, I'll be real, like, UCN, it's, like, it's one that's never really interested me because of the whole challenge factor. Um, I'm not able to play keyboard and mouse very good. I can't play games in keyboard and mouse that well. Like, if you watch me play any, like, Poppy's Playtime and stuff, it takes me so long, and I'll always misclick. Like, in that catnap boss fight, I remember I misclicked so much. Um, but, I uh, overall, like... I really enjoyed that. I I have to admit, I think Baddington done a really good job. I love the animatronic designs. My favorite has to be Bonnie. However, I I obviously just really want to um see what Foxy looks like because from the curtain, Foxy looked so good. It's just genuinely nearly impossible to actually get Foxy out of his curtain by command because you kind of just have to get, especially on night one. You know, it's really really difficult yo thank you so much for the sub i really do appreciate that um but it's actually really difficult to get foxy out of the curtain on night one it's always like really difficult he might pop up like his face through the curtain on night one at like 4 or 5 a.m now but he he won't ever run at you on night one unless obviously in view or you stick your head out the window or the door sorry so like honestly i'm really intrigued to see like if there's going to be anything different like i got a few easter eggs there the likes of, I think it was Foxy just screaming in the window after I honked the nose three times. Then I had some dude snoring on my desk for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so overall, I thought it was really, really cool. Obviously, it's very similar to FNAF 1. It's basically the same game. Yo, uh, thank you so much for the sub. Um, but overall, I liked it. It was good. Um, uh, do you plan on doing a Walton Foss stream soon? I do, but I, I like... I'll be real, like, I've run that, like, content into the ground, and I don't want to just turn my channel into a Walton Falls content farm. Because realistically, like, there's not much else I can say about the Walton Falls. Genuinely, there isn't much anymore. Like, I can literally, I'm not gonna, because obviously, I could easily make a video going, oh my god, a hidden thing found in the Walton Falls, and bring up something so completely stupid that just isn't worth it like i'm not gonna waste your guys's time with stupid things if that makes any sense i'm not gonna make up videos for the sake of making up a video i want to make stuff that are like are actually gonna be worth your guys's time if that makes any sense so i'm not just gonna like run that stuff into the ground if that makes any sense um but yeah overall that game was really good it has a lot of potential obviously it's very similar to fnaf 1 just kind of imported with different animatronics but I'm really interested to see if Baddington changes anything. Will there be a Night 5 cutscene? That sort of thing, like the way FNAF 3 did with the um, with the purple guy thing. I'm really interested to see how that gets on. But honestly, that was really, really good. I'm really excited to see um, what happens after this game. Because I'm, I actually think it's really good. Um, uh, have you been to Belfast? I have been to Belfast. I really, really like it. Like, I really, really like it. Um... That makes sense. Exactly, yeah. Bro, last night I had a nightmare about this Pinocchio doll a few days ago. It makes me want to make a horror video with it so much. I'm actually going to make a imaginary type um, short film, but actually good. <laughs> uh, have you? Yeah, I have been to Belfast. I agree with you, especially the streamers think they solved the one falls because Jack is Bond. Like, I get the theory about Jack being Bond. I get that theory. Don't get me wrong, but, like, it's just not going to happen. Jack is not going to be Bond. <laughs> But yeah, no, overall, that game was awesome. I really, I really enjoyed that. I have to admit. Um, yeah. Ooh. I'm kind of annoyed it was only one night, though. I thought we'd get at least two. <laughs> but maybe Baddington has, like, plans for the second night or something. I don't know. It is hard to program a game, so that's understandable. Um, but yeah, no, how are we all doing, though? It's, like, it's 10.30 for me right now, but I just want to chat with y'all time um but yeah i i wanted to stream tonight purely because um i was in the cinema and like i was just like obviously watching abigail really really fun i, ha I have to admit i really enjoyed it um the abigail movie actually really reminded me of the game the quarry and i love those games like if you've watched until if you played until dawn quarry uh man and madan i think the other one was man and madan 
But yeah, I wanted to talk to you all about something real quick because basically, for those who didn't know, I used to stream on Twitch a lot. I used to stream on Twitch. And I also stream on YouTube now, obviously. But basically, um, I don't want to flood um, my content on YouTube with a load of different stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I really want to stream different story horror games. That makes any sense? Because I don't want to go, oh, I'm streaming FNAF one week. Then next day, I'm like, oh, I'm streaming The Last of Us. You know, that sort of way. It's complete jump. Like, don't get me wrong. I'd love to do that, but I just don't want to be very differentiated with, like, the audience and stuff. Because I really don't want to mess the algorithm up on my, on my uh, channel. And... <laughs> Uh, the quarry, I love the quarry, dude. I, I, I have it on PS5, and I, I genuinely, I think I've played it like four times. I love the quarry. I, that's so good. And I never knew you were on Twitch. Oh, yeah, no, of course, Vanessa. Of course, you just couldn't know. Just, just couldn't know. <laughs> yeah, Vanessa found me on Twitch. I cried in the first stream Vanessa was in. Um, But yeah, at least he didn't stream on Kick. I think I streamed on Kick like for once. And I stopped stream after like 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, okay. Next one, I'm going to a Bond cosplay. I normally do cosplays for sub goals. So like for 3k, we done Boozu. 5k is Biddy the Clown. 10k, I don't even know. I don't know if I'll even hit 10k at this day. I don't know. I'm doing my best. And the, oh my god, that happened on stream. That's because it was so surreal to me. I didn't know what was going on. Um... What are your thoughts on the FNAF and the character encyclopedia? I haven't read it, but I just know it has like different information on his character. I think that's what an encyclopedia is, I think. I have lost sleep to the rosemary smile in the last few days. I need therapy. Honestly, I can understand that. The rosemary um, smile is terrifying. It's terrifying. Uh, I remember uh, the first stream I ever watched of yours, Trish, of you beating all the FNAF games. For oh, yeah, no, Ghostly Violet helped me out with the Fredo County episode. Ghostly Violet is such an awesome person so cool they're awesome dude um yeah you streamed like once or twice i think i was on twitch and kick i don't know what it was i'll be real i don't really remember y'all know my memory is ass <laughs> uh, i'm back when i missed honestly we're just chatting dude but yeah no i'm starting to like um honestly i'll be real there is not much to talk about in analog horror anymore until the walton files come out like bro there is nothing i've like been in my house and like, oh yeah, no, Lazy sent me the photo of my Twitch schedule, and it's still like active. I didn't know that still happened. Um, but like for like genuinely, there's not much to talk about analog horror at the moment, especially the fact that it's like, oh, what falls? We don't know when that's coming out, so. I don't have a sort of thing where I'm like, oh, I can just benefit on the Walton Falls, and I don't like doing that anyway. So, um, basically, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start doing both, just because my channel is the hard. You know, I do everything to do with horror. So I'm going to start, you know, you know, going to my name, you know, going to my name. I'm going to be d doing everything to do with horror, including the podcast as well. I ha I'll do an Abigail podcast as well as an Abigail video. Um, why have you not opened them FNAF figures, man? Because I am one of those collector dudes who is convinced I will make money off um, future sales. Because basically, once I have this figurine, basically, right, I have this figurine of the Tomb Raider. It's probably, yeah, it's not backwards on camera. I bought this for three euro at a school sale. At like my old school, they have like a Christmas sale every Christmas. And I bought that, still in the box, completely fine, a GameStop exclusive. Fun fact, in Ireland, GameStop, like, stopped, like, working. We don't have GameStop here anymore. So that figurine goes actually for a lot of money now. Um, Garden of Amber, no. I did say 5k by the end of, like, May or something like that. I play Garden of Bam Bam, but I'll probably still that'll be the only sub goal I break because I can't. I I refuse to I refuse to spend money on those games. Um, Ed Walton, I'm not wearing dungarees and a striped T-shirt. I'm small. I'll end up looking like a Chucky cosplay. <laughs> I am gonna get a good guy doll though. 
I am getting a Chucky doll. I don't care. I need a Chucky doll for the background. That's a that's a need. Um, bro, I hope you get more lore from the series like Doctor Nowhere. Is that one series the Robot Woman? I'm pretty sure that series with the Robot Woman has stopped doing content. I think podcast. I it might just be the way my nose is blocked. You ever played Garden of Batman? Played the first one. Made a video on how much I hate it. I don't know. I just I can't do that game. I'm sorry. Like, like I don't know. Like for for me, when it comes to the Garden of Batman, dude, it's just it's one of them ones where I'm like, yo, make something original, please. Like we don't need. Oh, I'm stuck in a old factory, an old toy shop, and all this and all that just because Poppy's Playtime made an amazing game. You don't need to copy it, dude. You don't need to. You don't need to. Uh, bro, right when the Robot Woman series got, started to get really good, it stops. Yeah, like, it was called, like, Pontiac Robotics or something. So, when it comes to, like, that sort of thing, it's, like, it was decent, but I didn't upload a video on it just purely because I, I just didn't, I didn't feel like I wanted to upload on it. It's the same when I uh, uploaded the Bendy game and took it down, because I was like, bro, this is just me wandering around for 40 minutes. I don't want to waste your guys' time. You know what I mean? Like, it literally is just me wandering around. It'd be different if I had, like, you know the way G Game Theory has, like, GT Live? It'd be different if I had, like, a, that harder than THD Live, that sort of thing. But I don't have that yet, because I don't see the point in having that. Because realistically, who cares? You know? <laughs> so, for me, I'm like, I don't know. I think I'm going to try to stay away from the Walton Falls until Episode 5, because I'm uh, actually traumatized with the Rosemary Spawn for my own health. I don't think Episode 5 is going to help you that much, if that's the case. Um, yeah, the best part of Garden of Batman is when Batman started bam banging on over the place and casually just get bam banned. Oh my god, my voice actually hurt saying that. <laughs> but yeah, no, for me, Garden of Bam is just. There's a reason why I don't play it, and that is purely because I just like creativity in my horror games. It's different if it's like in the same game series, but I don't want to spend. What, there's like seven games now? seven by eight like roughly sixty dollars sixty euros ish on seven games where one i don't even want to play them two i'm not gonna get my money's worth because i could get i could get a triple a game for that i could get alone in the dark for that i don't know if alone in the dark's any good but still i could get that for that same price i could buy the last of us part one remastered for that price like you know i'm not i'm not gonna go and spend 60 euro out of my pocket to play a game i don't want to play and a game that isn't good you know um in my opinion by the way this is my opinion if you like garden of Pan man fair enough i i personally just don't like it. most fanatic theories are now agreeing that choi chi can the point of 87 despite it's kind of hard to believe her plastic mouth can bite off an entire frontal lobe mangles more popular i just want mangle to kill people in the movie is the stream gonna end not yet no i'm gonna chill because honestly if you didn't know and you're new here, I can waffle till the end of time. Like, I, I could waffle to the end of time. Bond versus Godzilla. Um, Bond. <laughs> nah, Godzilla, obviously. Godzilla's a step on him. I love Godzilla, by the way. I know I have a Kong Funko Pop there, but I, I prefer Godzilla. Um, stream is never going to end. I know, if, I, if, I, if I'm waffling, that means, hey, it's never ending. <laughs> but yeah no um i don't know like i want to i'm gonna start making like all sorts of horror videos now it's not gonna be specifically analog horror like don't get me wrong analog horror i love making videos on it's just there is none really out there right now that i want to make videos on and uh, that's just my opinion <sighs> hold on <laughs> that's just my opinion like all i know is that the unknowing or unknowingly the dude who makes the godzilla tapes or the the man in the suit um is currently working on the next few episodes because if you go onto the uh, unknowingly's community page they have a lot of um they have a lot of like photos basically teasing future episodes right like they have one from two weeks ago that says like soon and it says the man in the suit like this one here as you can see it says soon and they have like the man in the suit a sick poster by the way 
Like there's, I'm guessing it's the same thing in um, in Japanese or Korean. I'm guessing, but like there is, there is um more videos of that coming out, which I'm very happy because I really liked that series when it came out. Um, I do gore better than the most unsettling smile known to man. The most unsettling smile known to mankind is a great, great thing to discuss actually. Because there's so many, like, smiles that can be really creepy. One that always gets me is um, the original Psycho. If you've seen the original Psycho, you know what I mean? It's like, um, if I type it up, I'll get the, the photo won't get me. Psycho. 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 Uh, this, like, this at the end of uh, Psycho, this clip. I don't make my... You know this one, this smile here. Like, there's so many creepy smiles. That one, in my opinion, is the most infamous when it comes to smile because it's literally like all the stuff happens, it ends by a zoom in on his face, his smiles at the camera. Um, did you watch Godzilla X Kong? I haven't seen Godzilla X Kong just purely because I just wasn't bothered to see it. Fun fact I genuinely don't watch any movies other than horror films. Like, I watch, um, like, I watch marvel but i've kind of gone off marvel now just purely because i don't like how marvel is currently like the last marvel movie i actually enjoyed was probably spider-man no way home or guardians of the galaxy was that after no way home yeah guardians guardians of the galaxy 3 was after no way home. i wasn't like i'm not too big on the mcu anymore purely after disney plus uh, i liked moon knight though um for me, I prefer... I'm really intrigued to see how the DCEU gets on because I loved Peacemaker. Loved the Batman. I cannot wait for the Batman Part 2. Um, I really enjoyed... Um, what else I really... I can't even remember. There's a few of those. Um, bro, I'm working on a new Analog Harvest Slenderman. Honestly, yeah, no. Um, Slenderman is definitely... Um, one one that I was like, in my opinion, could benefit off an analog horror because the movie. Um, uh, Jack versus William, who would win? Probably William, because we don't know if Jack had a gun, though. You know. Um, what would you be playing on Twitch? I I know there used to be a lot of variety games there. Uh, if I was to back uh, go back streaming on Twitch as well as YouTube. It would probably be like Resident Evil type stuff, like Resident Evil, um, The Quarry, Until Dawn, like the more story based games. That like would be a vast difference to the stuff I do on here, if that makes any sense at all. Um, the Batman Part Two will be so good. I hope because apparently Hush is the villain of the Batman Part Two. If Hush is the villain of Batman Part Two, I will like cry happy tears because I love Hush. Bush is awesome. Yes, I am also a nerd as well as a horror, I horror lover. Like y'all don't understand. I have no friends. <laughs> that really hurt my voice, actually. Um, but yeah, no, I I'm like pop culture obsessed, dude. Like y'all think this is all I do with the horror stuff? Yeah, there is a lot of Funko Pops down there. It's all like just genuine pop culture stuff. Um. I love Stranger Things as well. I have a whole like desk over there for Stranger Things. I love it so much. Um, um, what do you like aside from Analog Horror? Everything. <laughs> yeah, but if you think about it, it's like Rose is scared and tired, worried about the character, ready for battle. For fair, fair. Bond or Springtrap? Bond, because Bond's like seven foot. OMG. Carl versus Carl, Jack Walton versus William Arthur, William probably. So relatable. Oh, no, honestly, like, um, like I really like um a lot of things, you know. What was the first analog horror video you ever watched? What was it? I don't think it was the Walton one because I actually I don't know if it's still up on my Instagram. Let me check. I'm gonna go onto my Instagram because I want to double check. Um, what's the name of it? I can't remember if on Instagram I still have my reel. Because I posted a reel, like, years ago of me about to watch... No, I deleted it. Okay, I deleted it. Basically, like, I watched The Walton Files, like, when it first came out. So I don't know if that was my first one. I guess you could count No Through Road, but I wouldn't count... I don't even know. That's a different... 
you have any Sanchi FNAF plushies? No, unfortunately. I see the thing is I was really young when FNAF came out and I couldn't just go, Oh mum, can I cop this online? Like online shopping was never really a big thing for me when I was younger. So I was always like, if it's in the store, like near us, yeah, sure, we might be able to afford it. But if it's like online, it's like, ah, nah, I'm not going to buy it, you know? Uh, you ever uh, considered to do some reactions on some recent FNAF analog car videos, like the bite of the crushing blow? See, yeah, but also, I, I, there's a whole thing I really don't like doing a video on like a six, not even a six minute video, right? on a um like a video that like is six minutes i don't want to make a whole video watching the whole video going oh a good video and the video ends because for me that takes away from the actual creator i'd rather you just actually go watch the video yourself and support it that way because i hate just going oh yeah this is a good video yep nice one like that's why i hate posting react videos i don't like posting reaction videos only i only like post some reaction videos if i genuinely can't do a full analysis on it because when it comes to certain videos i can't do a full analysis on like an hour and a half video like alone you know sort of way how old are you now i'm turning wait can i say it on youtube oh no it's tiktok yeah tiktok gets you banned if you say your age or something like that i don't know um uh, i turn 18 in july so i would have been seven when FNAF came out in 2014, August 8th, 2014. Isn't it bad that I remember August 8th, 2014 as the FNAF release, like the FNAF anniversary, but I don't remember a lot of other things. I can't even remember like a single sentence in Irish in school. <laughs> um, uh, He's 10. Mentally, yes. <laughs> Are we going to watch the FNAF tapes? Honestly, I probably I can't do any reactions because my whole family's in bed. So if I start screaming, going, "Oh my god, that's terrifying!" or "Oh my god," I will, I I I won't be able to stream. <laughs> uh, happy early bir hey, early birthday! You mean what? Three months early? Well, two months and twenty nine days, twenty thirty days early. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I just that's the thing. I'll probably end up streaming on my birthday. That's the weird. <laughs> Fun fact, like, I, I don't do anything for my birthdays. I just, you know, sit at home, play games, or go gym, either or. <laughs> um, I remember those days on Twitch where your mom... Yeah, no, I remember, like... Because I used to stream in my attic in the old setup. And uh, that's where I just sleep now. <laughs> because this used to be in my bedroom. And so I was like, you know what? I'd rather have a cool setup and a really bad bedroom than a mid-bedroom and a mid-attic setup. So, um, I just, I just like completely switched because my mom used to always hear me from the attic. It's weird though. My mom will hear me from the attic, but she doesn't hear me in my office. It makes no sense. <laughs> um, what's happening? Yeah, what's happening, dude? Uh, the theories can say it was Toy Chica did the boy, but to us, Mangle, yeah, Mangle still did, in my opinion. Uh, what I remember from when I was ten was collecting Nin uh, Lego Ninjago. I, I, I never really got into Lego Ninjago. I was always like, what Lego? I used to really love Star Wars Lego. I built the Millennium Falcon that I accidentally sit on it. Oh man, that was heartbreaking. I took like I got it for my birthday when I was like twelve, and I um I sat on it by accident, and I think I cried for like a week, like a, two weeks of work just gone. Depressing. Uh, do you know Jack Walton owns a gun? Yeah, he does. He does. Uh, we learned that out on FindJackWalton.com. Um. But for me, I'm like, I don't know, like, when it comes to videos and stuff, see, I, I do my best to, like, post as much as I can, but I don't want to, like, I want to make videos that are actually worth your guys' time, if that makes any sense. I don't want to just go, uh, good video, enjoy. But I will be ending stream in, like, a few minutes, by the way, so, if y'all are getting bored, I apologize. Uh, no, I'd be mortified, honestly, I was so sad. Uh, and I'm gonna go to sleep. Uh, I'm so sorry. Good night. Hey, I appreciate you tuning in. Though, thank you so much for tuning in. It really does mean a lot to me. So, hope you have a good night. Um, I'm gonna wrap up the stream in like two, three minutes. By the way, that game was a lot shorter than I thought. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, no, I thought that video, I thought that game would be at least two nights, at least two, but clearly not, because I remember the original FNAF demos being like you get two. Nights. Doesn't matter. I still enjoyed it. 
Uh, well, do you know what type of injury Bond has? I think he got shot because there's a hole like here, like in his eye. There's like a, a scratch going up here, and there's like a hole in there. This is in between his like nose and eye. So I think he got shot personally. <coughs> uh, did you ever watch HBO? I did watch the Chernobyl series, and I really enjoyed it. I really thought it was cool. Really interesting as well. I'm a I'm a big horror geek. Like I do hit or not horror. Well, yes, horror. Also history. I, I love history, dude. I I like history is my favorite subject in school. Uh, what's your least favorite analog horror series? That's an interesting one. I know a lot of people give is it Urban Spook a lot of stuff. I know people hate that series. That curator's um commented on one of my videos before. I know a lot of people don't like Urban Spook. Um, I didn't mind it. I thought a lot of it was very graphic, though. It was very graphic, but, like, it was... I didn't... Like, it was good. I don't mind it. I liked the most recent episode of it, because um, of the actual animation style. Um, but, yeah. No, um, my least favorite analog horror... See, I don't really have a least favorite. Like, there's some that, like, just didn't really scare me. Um, like, the Pontiatic Robotics. That didn't scare me at all. That just weirded me out. You know, I was just watching it. I was like, what is this? What is the What's going on? Um, I don't like them sort of ones where it's like, you don't learn anything. Um, I guess you could kind of say Dr. Nowhere goes into that slot. Well, actually, I like Doctor Nowhere. But like, you could also go and compare that sort of like when you don't understand that sort of thing to Boys Vert. But Boy Boys Vert, I like the animation style. Plus, you know, something can be weird and not really understandable, but can also be really creepy. You know that sort of way. So for me, it's like. There we go, my mic's back. Like, Pontiatic Robotics is a cool series. Really cool animatronic they actually made. Practical effects. Top, top marks to them. Really cool. But I don't get what's actually going on. Secondly, Boys Vert doesn't really have a story. But all of a sudden, it will go from a really happy video to all of a sudden, there's a man in your basement, like, staring dead at you and stuff like that. Like, that's terrifying to me when it goes from, like, really cool to, like, boom, instantly has you. You know that sort of way? So... Um, when it's sort of like one of them, I'd probably say my one of my least favorites is very hard to say because I respect anyone who has made analog horror. It's just it's very difficult to say. Oh, I didn't like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, uh, if you do enjoy like me just waffling, I do have a podcast that I just waffle on. I'm gonna have to. I'm probably gonna have to start getting questions for that podcast as well. But yeah, if you like, I don't know if many people listen to podcasts. I I don't know. I personally listen to horror podcasts all the time. I just like hearing people talk about movies. Like, I always have it on the background. Um, but yeah, no. I, I'm going to start... Ultimately, I'm going to start doing a lot more content in general. Because I just... I, I want to make content one that I just personally enjoy. Because I don't want to get crammed into a box, if that makes any sense. I want to make content that I enjoy as well. So, uh, that's where I'm going to leave today's stream. Though I really do appreciate anyone who has tuned in today. It really does mean a lot to me, so... I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. I apologize that the game wasn't as long. I thought the game was going to be at least like two nights maybe. And I could get a little bit of difficulty as well. Maybe die in one of the nights or something. I don't know. I didn't really expect to die because one or two nights I'm okay if I have one. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm going to end today's stream. It is quite late for me as well as is. So I apologize with all the yawning and stuff. But uh, I just want to say thank you all so, so much for watching. And um, for anyone who does want to see me do any reaction streams, I know a lot of people like me doing the reaction streams because I don't, I don't know why. I guess my reactions are okay, I guess. If you do want to see uh, one of them streams, do go over to my Discord and go into hat the channel Horror Stuff. That's where we basically suggest what you want me to watch and stuff like that. So thank you all so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate anyone who has tuned in tonight. And I hope you all have the most amazing night. I really appreciate every single last one of you. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll check you in the next video or stream. And as always, have an amazing day. Stay safe. And...